We reported here this week on that packed auditorium in Charlottesville, Virginia, a mother and father talking about the daughter who was run over one week ago protesting against white supremacists. Tonight, that mother asked by our Robin Roberts, has she heard from President Trump and does she want to? Here's ABC's Mary Bruce. Inside Heather Heyer's packed memorial, her mother Susan grieving but defiant. They tried to kill my child to shut her up. Well, guess what? You just magnified her. In the days since Heather was killed, President Trump has spoken out, but he hasn't spoken to Heather's mother, Susan. And now, for the first time, she explains why, telling her story to Robin Roberts on GMA. Well, this is new territory for you, and, and for this to, to so tragically happen and, and bring your daughter and your family into the spotlight and people reaching out, including we understand that President Trump has reached out. Have you talked to him directly yet? Um, I have not, and now I will not. Um, at first, I just missed his calls. Uh, the call, act the first call, it looked like actually came during the funeral. Um, I didn't even see that message. There were three more frantic messages from press secretaries throughout the day, and I didn't know why. That would have been on Wednesday. And I was home recovering from the exhaustion of the funeral, and... Um, so I thought, well, I'll get to him later. So I hadn't really watched the news until last night. And I'm, I'm not talking to the president now. I'm sorry. What After did you... what he said about my child. And it's not that I saw somebody else's tweets about him. I saw an actual clip of him at a press conference equating the protesters like Ms. Heyer uh, with the KKK and the white supremacists. You can't wash this one away by shaking my hand and saying I'm sorry. Is there something though that you would want to say to the president? Think before you speak. And Mary Bruce with us live tonight from the White House. Those words from Heather Heyer's mother making headlines throughout the day. Is there any response tonight from the president or the White House? Well, David, the White House says their thoughts and prayers continue to be with Heather's family, but what they won't say is whether the president will keep calling. David. Mary Bruce, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.